Hi, I'm Ben. Welcome to my channel. So, some time ago, uh, I'm going to say a year, maybe two, um, Scott Crafter did a video where he talked about short hammers. That is, having a, a little short hammer at your workbench, and he said you'll you'll love the day you decide to do it. And so I did it, and I think I even made a video about it. This is when I first started doing videos, and this is it. It's uh, it was a claw hammer, and I took a, a an existing ball peen hammer shaft, and um, you know I filled this full of epoxy, and you know probably not the best solution, but I at the time I didn't know any better, and it's been fine. It's worked great. In fact, I love this little hand, the handiness of it, but I don't really use the claw. I never really use the claw, so. What I decided is that I have s several ball peen hammers over here, and one of them, especially, here it is, one of them um, is all messed up down here. And I mean, look at this thing. This handle is extremely long, and coincidentally, it's starting to get a little loose. So I think what I wanna do is I want to um, take this apart, and clean this up and shorten this down that way. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, momentary interruption. Um, 
this is not straight. The handle fits in your hand like this, right? And it's got, there's, there's a front and a back and sides. You can feel it in your hand. But when you put this hammer handle on, that's pointing off kilter. So, um, you know, it's a right-handed hammer or I don't know, it's just, so I think what I need to do, <sighs> Scott Crafter just did a video a few days ago where he tightened up a hammer handle onto a hammer head and there was a lot of missing material and he went in there and fixed it and all that stuff. So uh, if I have to do that, I will. I think I'm gonna try to straighten it a little bit and um, some of the material is going to go away and then I have some hardwood. I'll make some strips and put them in there if need be and epoxy the whole thing. But uh, anyway, I, I really think it needs to be straight. So this is a lot harder than it looks, people. Well, that was quite a journey. Um, man, these things are hard. I'm telling you. It is, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, it's very difficult. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of, I kind of had the right idea with tapering this in a little bit. And I, I had the basic idea. I just wasn't uh, accurate enough with how I positioned uh, this part. Um, anyway, I put so much work into this and so much work into this 
and I'm really proud of how this turned out. I think it looks great. Uh, that I just decided, you know what, quit messing around, go buy yourself a, a handle and cut it off. And so that's what I did. And I like it. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I didn't stain it or anything. Um, I'm probably going to put some shellac on it, but um, my shellac's kind of dried out. So anyhow, that's it. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.